main cause of tooth loss for adults is a periodontal disease in which the gums can pull away from the teeth, bones supporting the teeth can be lost and the teeth may loosen or fall out. Tooth loss process starts by formation of plaques. Plaque is a soft and yellowish biofilm containing bacteria within a thick matrix made from glycoproteins and extracellular polysaccharides. If you brush and floss well every day, you can disturb <laughs> the formation of plaques. However, if you decide not to brush or floss, then you're gonna be in trouble. After around 24 hours of plaque formation, the biofilm starts to absorb minerals like calcium and phosphorus from your saliva. This absorption transforms the soft plaque to a hard substance called tartar that is impossible to remove by brushing and flossing. Accumulation of plaque and tartar is usually highest over the gum line and because of this proximity to the gums, the bacteria can irritate and infect the gums. This leads to swelling and redness of the gums. With the gums swell, a gap formed between them and the teeth, creating a vertical space for bacteria to migrate in. As bacteria settle within the gap, they continue forming tartar that breaks down the attachment of the gum to the tooth surface. This process continues to deepen the gap to around 5 mm in depth. Now guess what, here is the horrible part. At this step, a change occurs in the bacterial residence within the gap. Only anaerobic bacteria can survive there. These anaerobic bacteria are quite more destructive than their aerobic cousins. The anaerobic bacteria <laughs> secrete toxic substances that can end up oh, with God. destroying the gum and bone tissue. For a healthy individual, the bone synthesis cells and bone breakdown cells work at the same rate to keep each other in balance. However, the toxic substances from anaerobic bacteria can cause the bone breakdown cells to work more rapidly than the bone synthesis cells, leading to bone loss and finally loosening of the teeth. You may be thinking if brushing and flossing cannot save our teeth from a periodontal disease, then what should we do? This is exactly what I'm going to talk about in the next video. I'm gonna show you how deep cleaning procedures can help the gums reattach to the teeth surface and prevent further bone destruction. So stay tuned.